Good morning, everyone. Today we're hopping on a train to a place called Reus. It should be a fairly quick ride. I think it's only about a half hour. And uh, it's a small town. We just wanna check it out. Heard some cool things about it. It's the birthplace of Gaudi. But before we get on the train, we, uh, we need a little breakfast. So we're gonna go to Cafe Cafe. We just got off the train and now we're in Reus. And I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. It could be Rus, Re, Rius, Reus. I don't know, but we're here. We are at the Gaudi Center and we are going to do a tour. We've got these cool audio guides and I'm excited to learn more about Gaudi, so let's check it out. It's just playing the same like three seconds of a song. <laughs> over and over and over and over for eternity. Turning it up. This museum allows you to get right up close to recreations of a lot of Gaudi's inventions and ideas. In this exhibit, you can step inside the dome of Palo Guel. Gaudi designed the dome's lighting to change throughout the day. The lights outside of the model turn on and off to simulate the motion of the sun so you can see the effect for yourself. This is one of the genius ways Gaudi figured out the structural integrity of places like Sagrada Familia. It's called a funicular model, and he could visualize complex structures by hanging bags of lead upside down by strings. The cool model of the building that had the dome that you stood in downstairs. And here they have this really cool display. There's lights up here that are meant to represent the sun going across the sky. And it lights up different parts of the model as it goes. It's really cool. This is a recreation of Gaudi's workshop. He lived for his work to the point where he actually slept in his workshop. We just finished the museum. What are your thoughts? It was really cool. Yeah. yeah. There was a lot of really interesting things in there. I liked all the models of like how he played with light and yeah. that's what struck me the most at Sagrada Familia is like how he played with light within it. I thought, looking at pictures, that there were like colored lights lighting up the pillars. 
but it was all stained glass windows and depending on the time of day it like changed the color of the the whole building it was incredible. that was so cool and it was cool to see the evolution of that through through his work overall very cool museum i would highly recommend checking it out Jessica just found a, a place where magic gets performed. That's pretty cool. I don't think we'll have time to see a magic show today, but it's pretty cool that it exists here. So one thing that we learned in several of the tours that we had about Gaudi is that he was a very religious man, and this is the church that he was baptized in. That's where it all started. So this house behind me is a very popular attraction and they were sold out of English tours for the day. So we are going to get a tour in Catalan and French, both of which are languages I don't speak. Jessica and Bailey speak French a little bit more than I do. I know a couple little words and phrases, but um, this should be interesting. And Jacob doesn't speak any French, so I'll, I'll try and get some cool shots, but I'll have no idea of what I'm showing you until afterwards. So this place we're about to go, Casa Navas, is in TripAdvisor's top 10% worldwide of places it recommends to visit. 10%, I'd say that's pretty rare, wouldn't you, Bailey? Yes. It's less than 50%. It's less than 20%. It's less than 11%. I know what it is. It's 10%. It's unbelievable. So she just came out to us and told us that 90% of the flooring is original. And so to protect it, everyone puts these on their feet. We all get booties. So we get little booties for our feetsies. I didn't know that's what they were called. That's what I call them. I wasn't able to film everywhere in the house. There were some areas where they let us film and some areas where they said to turn off the cameras because it would take too long to tour the house if everyone was taking pictures of everything. But I didn't really know what to expect going into Casanavas, but it was so cool. It was a very cool insight into like the time that it was built and then the art of the time. It was really, really interesting. Our tour guide was great. She knew some English and so she, like we were the only ones in the whole group that spoke English. It was a French Catalan uh, tour. Nobody spoke French either, so. Oh, nobody spoke French. No, it was so split. She... That's why we got split into two groups. Oh, okay. So, so her tour group was all in uh, Catalan and we were in the group and just for us four, she would switch to English every once in a while and tell us something that was notable in, in the, the house. It was really, really cool, very interesting. If you're ever in Reus, I 100% recommend trying to get into a tour of that house. It was very cool. That and, and the Gaudi Museum. I love the Gaudi Museum. I like definitely have fallen in love with all things Gaudi on this trip, and I understand why the people of Spain are so proud of him because he is just really incredible. The house that we saw, Casa Navas, is supposed to be a really 
maybe the best example of the architecture style modernism. So um, it's just, it's like the most complete, original, really extravagant piece of modernism architecture. It's just, it's so beautiful. And now we're at a place called Rosa del Vince. And uh, it's a little restaurant in this beautiful courtyard where the, uh, the church that Gaudi was baptized in it sort of overlooks this little courtyard. And uh, we're just gonna have a little bit of food and then go for a walk, I think, and go back to Tarragona. And from there, tomorrow morning, we'll hop on a train to go to Barcelona. These are my clams. This is called Dame Blanche. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, I'm probably not, but um, it's from what I can remember, hot chocolate with vanilla ice cream and then whipped cream on top, so. Yeah. It looks like what we would call a sundae in California. Mmm, it's really good. We're back at the train station. The next train back is in 45 minutes, so we're gonna have some more Cafe Cafe. All right, we're back on the train and- I thought we were taking a picture. Oh, no, we're, <laughs> we're back on the train, going back to uh, Tarragona, and, uh, and this is our last night there. Parker's scores are coming in. Parker's at a gymnastics meet right now and we're watching his scores come in on the phone because we can't be there in person, yeah. which I'm really sad about. I love going to his meets. They're really fun. <gasps> Wait, live? I think we might be able to watch it. My mom and the coach are both saying that they're going to take video and send them to us. So we haven't gotten that yet, but I wonder if it's a live meet. We'll see. No, I think it just means the scores are live. Oh, the scores are live, okay. one through seven boys for the 2024 California third prelim. Let's give them a big round of applause. We're back in Tarragona now, and uh, Jessica, I don't know if her like iron's off still or what's going on, but she's really tired. And so I'm with Jacob and Bailey, and we're gonna see if we can find some tapas. <laughs> tapas. Yeah. Bailey went full meal. I did. Yeah, not tapas, full meal. Full meal. Dinner was very good. Whoa, um, I was gonna talk, delicious. but Jake just no, took no, it. No, no, we're gonna swoop in there. We're swoop. swoop in there. Go for it, I love okay, it. You um, can talk it was now. very good, I had food, and then I had ice cream, and the ice cream was very good. Yeah, so Jacob and I got tapas, and then crepes, savory crepes, and Bailey got the fixed menu, so she got like a three course meal with a dessert and the whole yes, deal. Yes, I decided I was very hungry. So. And now I'm very full. And that's good. Also tired. Okay, let's go to sleep. And tomorrow we're gonna go to Barcelona. And then we're gonna go home. Mm -hmm. And then the next day we're gonna go home. We're gonna get on an airplane and go home. So this trip's coming to an end, but we still got some adventure left in us. So uh, I hope adventure. to see you again tomorrow. Thanks for watching today. We'll Bye. see you next time.
today we are leaving Tarragona to go on a day trip to Reus. And in Reus, we did the Gaudi experience, which was very awesome, I thought. Yeah, it was really cool. Yeah. I recommend going to Barcelona before you go to Reus because you get sort of a, a background. I don't know, which, which order would you do it in? Would you I go to the I'd museum see, first? I would go to the Barcelona first because Barcelona then you first. actually understand what, what they're talking about. Right, because the museum in, in Reus, it's very like, uh, it, it goes in deep to all the architecture that we saw, both at Parquel and Sagrada Familia. Uh, both of those places were very heavily featured in this, this museum and it went deep into the architecture side of it. And it was neat having the like the knowledge of having been there and the experience of having been there before checking it out, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah, you have to like really understand how brilliant it is once you like see it in person. Yeah. Yeah. Getting that first impact of like, whoa, this is massive and cool. And then seeing the thought process behind it. Mm -hmm. We went to Casa Navas. And when uh, we were standing in line, she handed out all the little booties that you saw on the vlog to wear while we were inside. And she was like, so you're gonna put these on so that when you go inside, it's you're not ruining the floor. So Bailey, Jessica, and I were like, oh, we'll just put these on, wait outside. Why did we put them on outside? <laughs> to protect the floor inside, it, and Jacob was the only one with the logic of like, I'm not gonna put these on until I'm in. I didn't put on my booties until later. <laughs> So I put she, mine in on. she had us take those off and put uh, new ones on once we were inside. But this is a picture of me just like throwing mine on outside. It was kind of silly. And they didn't let us shoot a whole lot of footage on the inside. So I'm going to show a couple parts of this pamphlet that I glued in here. Some of the cool things that I didn't get to take pictures of, the kitchen was really interesting. They had one of the first telephones in Spain in a residence. Like it wasn't like a government building or something. It was like somebody's house. And I think that was part of what made this place so interesting is it was somebody's house. Like people actually lived there and it was so opulent and, and interesting. And, and basically they gave the architect a blank check. They were just like, spend as much as you want on whatever you want. And it showed, it was very, <laughs> it was very the, intricate. The records was really cool. Oh yeah, 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 the like the music room, the parlor. Yeah, yeah, the last room we went in. And the train that we left Reus to go back to Tarragona <laughs> in was... A zombie. A, it looked like a zombie rolling in. So I drew a picture of a zombie train and it looked pretty it, accurately to this. It's very accurate. Minus but... the eyes and the teeth. It, it looked like I'm this. I'm pretty sure it also had the yeah, brains. And when we went out to dinner, Bailey had the, <laughs> the 11 course meal. And so I, I drew a quick picture yeah, of that. Yeah, that was the fixed meal. I asked for- It was three courses. It was three courses. I'm exaggerating It was not again. 11. You're very good at that. That was our day in Reus. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you give this video a like and write a comment in the comment section. Also, you can turn on the notifications so that you know when the next video gets posted. And the next video is our last day in Spain. So you definitely want to check that out. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>